Hello world, my name's Greg. Welcome back to the Vanguard Cycles YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us. Today we're going to be looking at torque wrenches, why you might want to use one and why they're probably the most important tool in the home mechanics toolbox. As ever, if you have any questions or comments about the video, please don't hesitate to let us know down below. And if you'd like to like and subscribe, that would be fantastic. Thank you very much. Right, let's get into it. So let's think for a minute about when you would want to use a torque wrench and why. As an example, we've got a little stem here. It's got bolts on the faceplate that allow you to clamp it to a handlebar and bolts here to allow you to clamp it to a steerer tube. How do we know that we're going to A, tighten it up so that it's secure and safe, but on the other hand, B, not over tighten it so that we damage the bicycle and perhaps make it dangerous as well? Most components do actually have a torque setting written on them. And this one says nine to 10 Newton meters. Torque is normally measured in Newton meters or foot pounds or inch pounds. Over here in the UK, we prefer Newton meters on the metric scale. So let me pretend that I'm tightening this down on my bike here and I'm leaning on it. How do I know that this is gonna be tight enough to be safe and that I'm not gonna over tighten it and potentially damage components, especially things like carbon fiber. The way we do that is by using a device called a torque wrench that allows us to normally set a desired torque level and then the tool will give us feedback when we've reached that level. So just for an example here, I've set my little torque wrench to six Newton meters. So I'm gonna now tighten the bolts up on this stem and this tool will tell me when I reach six Newton meters by giving me a click. Let's go to the other side. So now we know that this stem is tightened, tight enough so that it's safe, but it's not over tightened. So let's have a look at the different types of torque wrench you might find and the accessories you'll need to use one. The very basic type of torque wrench you might find is what we'd call a beam torque wrench. This is from Park Tool. And normally torque wrenches will come in a number of ranges to suit the fasteners that you're trying to torque. So this particular one goes from a centimeter kilogram rather than Newton meter scale up to 70 or inch pounds up to 60. The way this works is that on this end, you'll fit your tool bit for example, a hex adapter, and you'll simply put that in the fastener and twist it, and this beam deflects to tell you the torque you've reached. There's no feedback, there's no alarm, it's up to you to read the scale as you tighten the fastener to determine when you've reached your desired torque. As mentioned, that comes in a bigger size and this one now is on a Newton meter scale up to 70 and it goes up to 600 inch pounds. Again, the beam is deflected and you'll put your tool on the end here. One really important thing to note is that these sort of old fashioned beam torque wrenches are still very useful in the bicycle world because we have some fasteners that tighten to the left rather than tightening to the right. Most click type torque wrenches will not work to the left unless specified. So these beam type torque wrenches can be really handy when you have to go the other way. The next type of torque wrench I've got here is a little mini one. Sometimes these come in preset torque settings. I know Park make a four, five and a six. This one actually has a little dial on the top. So I can spin this round and set it down, for example, 5.5 newton meters, five newton meters. It has a bit that goes in the end. And this particular tool actually comes with quite a handy little storage compartment in the end for a few of the more commonly used bits. And as you saw earlier in the video, when you reach your desired torque, this one gives you a click to tell you that you've got there and that's the way the feedback works. The other type are what we call a, a click torque, which is similar to the little one, just larger and more accurate. Here, you've got a little window to show you the torque 
that the torque wrench is set to. This one works from 2.5 to 25 newton meters or from 2 to 18 foot pounds. On this one, you pull out the bottom, rotate it, and then have a look at the scale. Let's say I want to set this to 5 newton meters. I keep going till the big line reaches 5 and the small is at 0, so that's 5.0. If I want to go to 5.5, I go there, 5.5, and then I close the bottom like this. Important thing to remember about these torque wrenches is they use a spring inside, and if you keep them at that torque, they can become decalibrated. So after every use, always reset your torque wrench to zero. This is just a larger type that has a larger scale. Obviously it's less accurate at smaller readings, but this will actually go up to 60 Newton meters. So if you're fitting a crank set or a bottom bracket or something like that, this is what you'd use. Again, this has a twister at the bottom. You release it, twist it, and then set it. And then you read off the torque setting from the red line here. I'm just gonna set this back to zero as well. So that's your types of torque wrenches. Adapters or bits you might need. As I showed you for the small one, this comes with a few bits and they are that type there, sort of a standard screwdriver bit. You might get the smallest type of socket set bit here, quarter inch drive, and that fits directly onto this torque wrench like that. If you've got larger bits, you might need to use an adapter. That simply goes on the end and that allows me to use a larger bit on there. In going up even further still, on my big torque wrench, if I wanted to fit a cassette, for example, I've got an adapter here, and I've got an adapter to fit my cassette lock ring tool. The other thing you might need is called a crow's foot. A crow's foot adapter is a couple of different types. If you need to tighten up a fastener, that you can't get direct access to with, for example, a hex bit, then you'd use your crow's foot on your torque wrench like this. And then that would allow you to tighten the fastener to the left or to the right. What's really important here is to make sure that your crow's foot is at 90 degrees to the angle you're tightening, okay? And I will demonstrate that later as part of the video. So what I'm gonna do now is show you how to use each type of torque wrench. For this small adjustable one, I know that this fastener needs to be set to six Newton meters. So I'm gonna have a look at my tool. Currently it's set to five. So I'm gonna spin this around one to five and a half and another one to six. This takes a four millimeter bit. So the first thing I'll do just gently drive in with my handheld tool and then twist the torque wrench until it clicks. Don't go any further. The tool won't stop you from going any further. So when you hear or feel that click, you know you've gone far enough. Now for the beam torque wrench, I take my four millimeter bit attach it to the torque wrench. And we switched around to the face plate here. And I want to take this fastener to 40 centimeter kilograms. So what I do is make sure that this is engaged downwards correctly. You could just let it twist around very gently and read off the scale here until you reach 40 centimeter kilograms and you're done. For the click type wrench, I've got my four millimeter bit that I'll attach to the torque wrench. And what I need to do is set this to four Newton meters, if that's my desired torque. So I twist the tool. Let's bring you in here. And the green line is now set to four Newton meters. Set the bottom. Okay, and engage the bit securely and rotate the tool until there's a click. Don't go any further. The tool won't stop you going further. So when you feel that click, 
you know that you're at the right torque. The last thing to look at is when to use a crow's foot and how to do it. For example, we've got a bolt here in the vise, which we'd like to tighten up, but what we can't do is get our nifty Allen bit on there. This is also normally very useful if you are tightening up the compression clamps on things like brake levers or hydraulic brake calipers. So I want this to four Newton meters. I'll start by calibrating my torque wrench to four Newton meters. I take my adapter, place it on the torque wrench, and then I'll take my crow's foot and you'll see there that the crow's foot is at 90 degrees to the handle of the torque wrench. That's so we get an accurate reading. We place the torque wrench on the fastener and as before, we just tighten until we feel the click. All right, there we go. So the most important thing from today's video is always reset your torque wrench to zero. Okay, there we have it. I hope that you found this video helpful and informational. If you did, please let us know down in the comments below. And if you didn't, please let us know down in the comments below. Right, see you next time.